Today I'm going to show you how to take photos out of a sticky album and preserve them. So first, you're going to need a few tools. This is a 3 inch metal scraper. You don't want it to be too sharp on this end, otherwise you'll cut your photos to pieces. Uh, but make sure it's cleaned up and there's no residues from other projects that you may have done. Uh, second, you need a hair dryer that has a heat setting. Uh, you're going to use the low setting. And what you want to do is heat it up. Just heat up the end of the blade until you get it to a nice warm to the touch temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can show you. It takes just a little while to get it to heat up. That should be good for our purposes. Now what you want to do, some of these albums can be very tricky. So you want to get up under this edge right here, any of this edge right here that you can pull up. And then once you get under there, you go beside the photo just to clear out the plastic, trying to avoid to scratch your photos. Once you get it up, you just hold the page down with your other fingers and lift it up. Once you get to the middle, you're just going to kind of push up through the photos in between so you can break that plastic loose, mylar film, whatever it is for your album that you have, and then just pull it open, peel it back and fold it over because likely you don't want to keep these albums and reuse them since they're not good for photos. So then you're going to take, and if you can get under the edge of your photo, go ahead and just kind of see what I can do with my hand here. And just gently turn and pry up under the photo until you can get it loose. These are a little easy, but some of them get difficult. So I'm going to pop these photos out, set them aside, and work on the next one. This one's a little tougher. So what you want to do is I can stick the corner of the blade right up into the center of the photo and just slide back and forth and turn out, turn out towards the edge and just slide back and forth, working it back and forth until you can get all the way up under there. It slides right off. I'll show you in a minute once I get a sticky photo what happens to the back of them. You just want to keep working it in there, trying to stay as flat as possible and avoid tearing up the image. This one's fairly clean, but they get a little bit of adhesive on the back. You just rub it with your finger, wipe it off into a garbage can, which I have over here behind me. Then you replace your film and move on to the next. I'll do a few of them so you can see just how difficult it can be sometimes. Some of these are a little easy, but just remember to be gentle with your photos. It looks like I'm doing this really fast, but I've practiced a lot, so. Let me show you exactly what happens when you have a sticky photo. This one's kind of sticking. I don't know if you can see this or not, but zoom in on that. And 
you can kind of see how the photo reacts. If you can see right down in here, you can see the light shining as I push through it. See that little spark of light? That's the edge of my blade. You want to try to avoid to get too far in the center of the photo, otherwise you could tear your photo. But you want to gently lift out and keep it tight a little bit so that you're not tearing up the photo and gently work around the edges until you get your photo completely to break loose there all right now the back of this photo you can kind of see these little specks right here possibly let me zoom in Get that to pick up. Anyhow, there's these little specks of glue on the back, and like I said before, you just want to take them and dust them off into the trash can. The oil on your fingers will help you to rub them and clear them away. Again, being gentle with your photo so you don't get fingerprints all over it and stuff like that. Okay, do a few more here so you can just get an idea. And it helps sometimes if you come back and push in, back and push in to keep it moving to dig further under the photo. Again, before you just scrape under it like I just did, make sure you see that there's an opening and that you're not just hitting the edge of the photo, otherwise you can tear your photo. So this one's a lot tougher, and see my blade has gotten cold. So I'm going to apply a little heat. Make sure you get it good and warm. That way it'll cut right through, make it easy for you. See how much easier that is? Cuts right into it. This one's very sticky. There you go. Well, that's how you do it, guys. It's not too difficult. There are methods out there that use uh, dental floss, uh, micro scrapers, other tools. But I like this one because of the width of the blade. It's about as, as wide as a photo. And that's how it's done. So, uh, other tips for saving photos would be get you one of these um, negative scanners. You just put your negatives in that little slide there and push it through. Set your settings. Push the button and take a picture of your negative. And typically, you want to have um pocket protectors as opposed to these adhesive albums because the adhesive albums can tear up the back of your photos i will show you what i'm talking about let me flip through a few of them here i don't know if you can see this but there's a lot of ribbing right there on the paper backing Let's see if i can get close enough for that Alright, anyway, the adhesive can tear into the backing. This is one example that's really easy to see 
where the adhesive actually ate into the paper and it caused a big tear on the back of the paper. Now luckily I was able to save this image, but you can see the different types of problems you run into. And again, this is an example with lots of adhesive. It's a good shot. You can really see those bits of adhesive there. And again, you're just going to rub those off with your finger. But anyway, that's how you save your photos from these sticky albums. Use photo boxes and other slide-in type materials as opposed to adhesives. It'll help you in the long run. Have a good day.